Good morning, Baltimore. We got some complaints. Uh, you know, you don't do enough Baltimore on your on your little ditzy little TV show here. So we're going to do Baltimore today. Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore. Rah, rah, rah. Got the Baltimore morning show uh, radio ratings for you this morning. The Baltimore morning radio ratings, age 25 to 54. This is Baltimore's day to shine. This is the 5th uh, fifth, fifth of, fifth of May, 5-5-11 five, five, edition of Day TV. So we're going to look at the Baltimore morning show radio ratings, okay? Here we go. 25th place. We have a tie in 25th place between WWI and AM. Um, da -da 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 -da. WLZL, a DC station snuck in there. And another DC station, WB. Uh, and finally a Baltimore station, WTMD. All these are tied for 20 fifth place in the mornings on Baltimore Radio 2554 demo. 24th place, another DC station, WKYS. And now in 21st place, we have a, uh, a tie here of uh, WWDC, another DC station, Mix 1073. You guys in Baltimore listen to an awful lot of DC radio uh, and uh, DC's WAMU. So, uh, Whole lot of DC stations there so far in the Baltimore radio ratings. And another DC station at 19th place in the mornings, WGTS. <laughs> Tied with, right, Hot 99.5, another DC station. So, so far, we've gotten up to pay, up to the uh, whole bunch of uh, the ratings, and they're all Washington stations pretty much. Anyhow, number 18th, ah, we actually got a Baltimore station now here in 18th place. For the ratings, uh, BJC Classical uh, got a tie for 16th place. Another DC station, WTOP, uh, comes in at 16th place. And uh, WCBM, 16th place tie. I, th I would have thought they would have done better in the Baltimore market in the morning show, but uh, eh, what the heck. 15th place, another DC station, uh, WHUR. Now we're getting into some Baltimore and oil. Okay, 13th place. Hey, Duran Duran. I love this. It's one of my favorite Duran Duran. That's uh, XM's first wave, by the way. Now on channel 33. 13th place, Baltimore morning radio ratings. Both sexes, age 25, 54. <laughs> Another DC station, WPGC, Big Tigger. But, and they're tied with... Uh, 105.7 The Fan, Ed Norris, and Steve Davis. So, I, these guys should be doing better than that, honestly. But what the heck. 12th place. Now, again, this is a station I thought would be doing better. WLIF. I really thought this station would be up in the top five in the Baltimore radio ratings in the mornings. But they're 12th. Uh, that's Adult Contemporary, 101.9. Uh, ZBA, Classic Rock, 100.7 FM is 11th place. QSR is 10th place. Jack FM. Uh, the 104.3. What is that? Um, what a contemporary hit. Claire Channel. Uh, Z1043. WZFT, 9th place. WRBS FM. Christian Contemporary in 8th place in the mornings on Baltimore Radio. Uh, News Talk BAL. I, yeah, I thought they would be higher than this. Uh, BAL 1090 AM, 7th place in the mornings on uh, Baltimore Radio. W and WIPR, interesting, I guess, with Morning Edition and all their stuff beats them out. 6th place. Now we got the top five. This is Baltimore Radio, the um, both sexes, 2554. Uh, we've got uh, Mix 1065, JoJo, Reagan, and Sarah there at 5th place. In fourth place, Tom Joyner, syndicated show there on uh, 95.9 WWIN-FM. Third place, Ricky Smiley and company there on uh, WERQ 92.3. Uh, Laurie DeYoung, second place on Country WPOC 93.1. And the top station in Baltimore, morning show, Mickey and Amelia there, 98 Rock WIYY. Now when we look at... The male, okay, what are the top stations when we look at men only? I'll just give you the top five here. 
the top five morning shows, men only, 25.54. Those are the top five. 98 Rock, POC, QSR, WIPR, and BAL. That's men only. And when you look at women only, 25.54s, you get these stations. Again, 98 Rock tops everybody, everything. Um, Mickey and Amelia do really good there. And uh, WWMS, POC, ERQ, and WIN. Uh, Steve, uh, Tom Joyner. So those are the Baltimore radio ratings morning show. So there, don't say Baltimore. Don't say we don't love you, Baltimore. <laughs> I'm playing some XM this morning because there is a brand new uh, XM uh, lineup. If you haven't seen it out yet, um, here it is. XM Sirius just redid their lineup. Oh, how do I get the... Let me try to get the... There we go. Oh, look. It, it actually gets kind of sharp there. And you can see the new lineup. And my favorite channel, of course, is... Um, and I can't see it on there. Oh, because it's down below the... Uh, thing. There. Where we go? 33, first wave. First down, Duran Duran. Here, first wave on Sirius XM Radio. Julia Cinco de Mayo on this Thursday. I'm Larry the Duck. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning through Friday morning, 6 to 9 a.m. Eastern Time, as Madison is next with the music for the next six hours. You enjoy, and they'll leave you with a great one hit wonder. Great music on Monday. Romanticide, Combo Audio. So, anyhow, XM, XM, what, what they were doing at XM. See, when Sirius and XM merged a couple years ago, Sirius had its own lineup. And XM had its own lineup. They merged a lot of the channels, but they were on different numbers. So first wave, for example, was on XM 44, and it was on Sirius 22. With this new lineup, they're merging a lot of the channels. I mean, the same numbers. So you will have uh, 33 will be first wave on both XM and Sirius. XM and Sirius are doing a whole, they're, you know, they've taken some of the channels, they've merged them. And they've taken some of the channels and made them online only. And they're also going to be unveiling some new channels with some new price ranges, too. So, you know, they're apparently having a Sirius XM 2.0 launch later this year. And you'll be able to get some more channels, a lot more Spanish channels, apparently, if you pay more. So we shall see. Now I'm out of focus. <laughs> ah, now I'm even more out of Look at that. <laughs> I'm even more out of focus, which is good. I'm out of focus. All right, what's the big news today on DCRTV.com? Anything going on at all? Nah. Five more people leaving the Washington Post. Well, the last person at the Washington Post to turn out the light got their names on um, DCRTV.com, um, including Wes Kosova, the politics editor, and Nancy Kerr who's the uh, a digital features editor. So uh, there we go with that. Uh, you know, uh, Virginia Governor, little little Bob McDonald, I've heard he's a very short little man. He's cut $424,000 from the state's public television and radio budget for, the, for 2012. You know, 424000 at least in the Reston area, you can't even buy a house for that. So it's not a hell of a lot of money, I don't think. They're making a big fuss. You listen to WMAL and they, you know, Bob McDonald's cutting the budget, cutting the budget, cutting the budget. Yeah. $424,000 for a year is like, you know, barely the price of one house. I mean, what's it going to cut? When you divide that up among all the different radio and TV stations that are public in, in Virginia, I can't imagine that's a hell of a lot of money. But it's just, it's just a big PR thing. Ah, uh, I'm telling you, Bob McDonald. <clears throat> This guy rubs me the wrong way. Sad to hear that Shelby Austin has passed away. She worked at WPGC for 38 years. She was um, business manager at the station. Originally started as a sales assistant. She worked there from 73 up until uh, just recently. Uh, wow. Uh, tip of the hat to, uh, to Shelby. Um, and... Uh, Sorry, you know, it, it's it's amazing to see somebody working at a radio station, one single station, for 38 years. You just don't hear that anymore. There's a lot of turnover in the radio business. All right, folks, that's the big news. Oh, Washington Post sees a circulation slump. Their, slump, their circulation is actually down 4.8% in a year. Doesn't surprise me. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's down even more than that this next year. All right, folks, that's the big news for DCRTV.com today. Uh, thanks for watching Dave TV. And don't forget to stay 
Tschüss.